So, I thought I'd do something a little different today. You know that I usually talk about Walter's cooking and he does all the cooking most of the time. I used to cook at one point in time. Back when I was teaching, I'd be home from school before he would get home from work. And so I would usually put dinner together. I did that for over 30 years. So now it's his turn now that he's retired. Now, is Walter a better cook than me? Well, he likes to think so and to be to tell you the truth, yeah, he actually is a better cook than I am. But last week, he made something called Dutch pancakes. They're a little bit uh, different than regular pancakes, not much. They don't rise up as high as regular pancakes because they don't have any baking powder or baking soda in the mixture. It's a very simple recipe and you can find it on the internet and I did. Now, this one might be slightly different than the one Walter found, but I think it's the same kind of thing. My idea is he made a sweet pancake, which was great. You put brown sugar and butter on them when they're warm, roll them up and you can put fresh fruit on them or syrup or whatever. And they were absolutely delicious. They're a little thicker than a regular pancake, but they're still great. And I got thinking, these might make a really nice savory version for dinner if I stuff them with like strips of ham and some cheese. And I'll probably make a sauce to go on top of them. So I've done crepes before in this style, so I thought these might be more fun. The problem with the crepe is they're pretty thin. And when you roll them up sometimes, at least when I roll them up, they rip. So I'm hoping these won't. And as I said, I kind of like the fact that they're a little thicker. So I'll just read you the recipe. And this came from the Food Network called Dutch Pancakes. And it calls for one cup of flour, two cups of milk, two eggs, three uh, teaspoons of sugar, a pinch of salt, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, oil or butter for brushing the pan. Now, I left out the sugar because I'm making a savory version. So I hope that's not going to affect the overall, I'm just checking my pan here, it's heating up. I hope that doesn't affect the overall way that they cook. It shouldn't, I don't think. I also doubled the recipe because I want more than, it says it serves 12, but you know, these are fairly large. Plus, I'm thinking of uh, using them for a dinner tomorrow night. So, um, I've got my batter all mixed up and now I'm going to pour it in here and see what happens. Now this is a non-stick pan and let me put the camera down so you can see what I'm talking about. This is a non-stick pan. I think I'll turn down my heat a little bit. So I sprayed a little bit of um, oil in here. Uh, actually, uh, non-stick cooking spray. Just let me straighten this up a bit for you. And I'm just looking at it right now and I have this feeling that um, I shouldn't have done that. So I'm just gonna get rid of this oil. Okay, so I got rid of the excess uh, spray on here and this is non-stick. So let's pour some of my batter in. And I'm just gonna put it enough that it covers the bottom of the frying pan. A little more, okay. There we go. Now, my grandmother taught me how to make pancakes many, many years ago. And what she always said that you should do is when you pour that in, watch the edges. It should start to bubble up and the edges should start going uh, or lose a glossy sh shine to them. So that's what I'm watching here. Now I am getting some bubbles. And usually the first pancake I make doesn't work until I get it down. So we'll see what happens here. Now off to the side, I have a dinner plate. And on that dinner plate, I have some parchment paper just to lay them on when they're cooked and keep the layers separated so they don't stick together. Um, so we'll see what happens here. They, it is bubbling a little bit. Uh, in the center and I'm just watching the edges to see if they start to go to a matte finish. Sounds like I'm creating some kind of craft thing here, doesn't it? And uh, I'm doing this when Walter's not home. Because if Walter was home, he'd be looking over my shoulder and criticizing me for all of this, okay? So I don't feel comfortable with that. So this was a rarity, watching me cook. 
So it is still uh, kind of, they're, they're bubbling. The edges still look a little glossy, but it's getting there. This is the point where I don't want them to burn. I'm getting a little smoke here. I'm getting a little worried. Okay, I'm just gonna take my spatula, sort of go around the edge. to loosen it and then I'm going to try to flip it I don't know if I'm gonna have any luck Ooh, this is scary okay I don't like this spatula I want something a little smaller okay and everybody has a utility drawer right you can never find anything in it Okay, just destroyed this one, people. All right. Yeah. Can I put it back together? No, I cannot. Okay. Usually when I make crepes, I use my crepe pan. And it's a little easier to manipulate. Um, I have a, disas a little disaster here. I might be able to salvage it. I'll just let it cook for a little bit longer but I need a better spatula. That one is not working. Okay, when cooking, you should be more prepared. And of course, I can't find, oh, I found part of the spatula. All right, let's dump this out here. Okay, that one, bit of a disaster. All right. This is the other spatula. There, there is a handle somewhere. I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit. Um, well, where is the bloody handle? Okay, I can't find the handle. We'll just do with this. All right, let's try another one, shall we? And let's hope we have better luck. Meanwhile, I'm still looking for that bloody handle. I can't, I can't find anything in this drawer. Can you hear? Okay, I don't know where the handle is. Maybe it's in the drawer below. No. Okay, I don't know where it is. We'll not worry about it. Uh, this pancake looks like a small disaster here. I might still be able to use it since I'm gonna be rolling things up. Let's get another piece of parchment. Uh, let's hope I get this other one out here in a little better shape. So it is sort of cooking. Maybe I've got the heat too low. Did the instructions say anything about heat? I probably should have. Let's see, it says heat up a large frying pan to, to medium to medium high heat, which, how do I know what medium high heat is? I don't know. Uh, pour in enough batter to evenly cover the bottom of the pan. Try to make the pancake as thin as possible. Yeah, good luck. Cook until batter sets and golden on the bottom about one minute. Flip pancake and cook until golden another 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, till golden. I still got a little fluid here. Now it seems to have cooked in the center more than on the outside. You know, I have a feeling I'm going to go revert to my crepe pan. Oh gosh. Okay, this is not working <laughs> out very well. All right, maybe I shouldn't have done it as a double batch. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens here. I wonder if I can find my crepe pan for this. Okay, like I think that's been more than a minute, but I did to have the heat turned way down and I just turned it back up so I don't know here what's going to happen. My grandmother's method does not seem to be working for me. 
Oh gosh. This is another disaster one here, I think. <laughs> this was not meant to be a comedy. All right, that's not working. Let's get the bigger one. I know, I know, you people are all telling me what I'm doing wrong. Well, right now I'm sticking to the damn pan. Okay. There's a mess. Okay, this is not working for me. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my crepe pan. Okay, I found my crepe pan and I just poured some batter in and I did spray this one because this really isn't a non-stick pan. And it's sizzling away here. And it looks like some of my oil kind of went over top of it, so it's giving it a little bit of a color of I don't know what. And grab the other spatula. And let's see if I have better luck. Now I am getting bubbles on this one more. I think maybe the other pan was too deep for this. So I just let it have a few more seconds here. I hope that's steam. I don't think it's burning. Oh, I don't think this is going to work either. Maybe the batter needed. Okay, this is not working at all. Oh, disaster city, people. Ah, uh, yeah, this is not working. Okay, turn that off. Okay. No, I blew this one completely. There, you want to see? There's a crate. Not really. Okay. That's garbage. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. This time I used butter. The recipe actually called for butter or oil. I thought I'd be sneaky and use the spray stuff, but so I've got it here in my pan. And the butter kind of browned real quick, possibly because the pan's too hot. And I have set my temperature down to a medium, I guess. I mean, there are eight settings between low and high on here, so I'm down to about five. So I would say that's medium heat, I guess. You know, I used to actually, believe it or not, I can cook. It just depends what it is. <laughs> and obviously it's not this. But you know, I've made crepes before with no problem. Um, maybe it's this recipe. I don't know, maybe you need to be Dutch to make Dutch pancakes. Because Walter's Dutch background. That last one I've tossed in the garbage. I still have the first one here that I think I can salvage or maybe not. I don't know. I have a feeling this is all going to be a real disaster, but I'm not going to give up yet. Okay, we're still bubbling along. I wish I had a decent spatula. That's something on my shopping list. Buy a decent spatula. Because I have no idea what happened to what I had. Hey, here's something. I could try that. Oh, I think I found the handle. Oh, I did. I found the handle for the other one. You know, this is, this is what I get for buying cheap utensils. I don't know if this is going to work. Okay. Still a little moist on the top. Not, it's stuck. It's stuck. Oh, look at that. Isn't that appetizing? No, it's not. Okay. Back in a moment. Okay, here's my next attempt. So, I cleaned out the pan and I've given it a light coating of the nonstick spray and I put it, I'm watching my heat carefully. And I'm just loosening it all the way around with this rubber spatula. Okay, now we're going to take 
the one that's got the broken handle and we're going to try and get it under here and flip it. And that didn't work very well. Yay! I flipped it. Maybe a little overdone. It's okay, it's not burnt, it's just brown. Okay, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Stupid handle. I'm watching my heat. Now we'll see what happens here. I suppose I shouldn't leave it there too long. Okay. Let's see if we can get it out of the pan. Yay! Got it out of the pan. That one doesn't look too bad. All right. Let's, uh... Got a little burnt mark on my pan. about the noise. Okay, let's try another one, see what can happen. Cooking spray. I don't have a lot of my batter left, so. I'm making them a little thicker this time. My theory is if they're a little thicker, they may take longer to cook, but Maybe they won't tear as much. Now, I know you're, there's people out there that are going to laugh their head off and give me all kinds of comments about what I'm doing wrong. And you can do that, but I'll ignore you. <laughs> I don't care. Um, yeah. You know, it figures I film this. You know, it figures I film this and I have a disaster, right? I have made, I really have made crepes successfully before. Not with this recipe, okay? But the recipe I use isn't that much different. And I may have to revert to that recipe. Although I really like these the way Walter made them. But I don't know what he did. Maybe he made them thicker in that big pan. That could be it. I know when I tell him about this, he's just going to say, you're an idiot. Yeah, I know that's what he's going to say. Okay, I'm going to let this cook a minute. I'll come back in a second and let you see if I've had success or not. Nope, didn't happen. Nope, not at all. So, there's what we've got. Okay, I give up. Can't do it. Not going to happen. Okay, I'm going to look for my recipe for um, regular crepes and see if I have any success with that. The only problem is I wonder if I've got enough milk. We'll see. I'll be back. Okay, I'm trying again. This is a crepe recipe. And it says to do just a quarter of a cup. This is a quarter of a cup of batter. Pour it in. And then you're supposed to swish it around. And I think I need another And I'm making a mess. So it coats the bottom of the crepe pan. Okay, I am at medium heat. So it said, this takes one cup of all-purpose flour, two eggs, half a cup of milk, half a cup of water, one quarter teaspoon of salt, and two tablespoons of butter melted. Okay, I did all that, mixed it up like it said. It said lightly grease the griddle or the crepe pan and then we'll see from there. Now I have made these before and been okay so we'll see how this turns out this time. Now the edges are getting and I'm watching my heat very carefully I need my spatula my broken spatula with cruddy bits on it Okay, now the edges, like my grandmother said, have gone 
to a matte finish on here. So, ooh, look at that. Wow, okay. I told you I can make crepes, okay? You didn't believe me, but I can. Now you just let this sit in there for just a couple of seconds or so, about 30 seconds, 20 seconds. And I'm gonna put it on my plate. Now I only had half a cup of milk left exactly, so I'm not sure how many of these I'm gonna get out of this. It says you're supposed to get, it doesn't say, okay. Ooh, look at that slid right out of the pan. How do you love that? Now, lightly spray. Let's pour in some more batter. And my measuring cup is in my batter. Yeah, I'm not gonna get many out of this. So my, I'll have to get more milk and eggs if I wanna make more of these at some point in time. But there it is, it's in my pan. Very nice, gotta get another piece of par parchment paper. It's just so they don't stick together. It's coming along nicely. Let's not blow it. I'm watching the heat, I'm adjusting it. When you've got a saran top stove, you know, it's not like gas. Your heat isn't quite as even, although it's pretty good. Okay, I'm just watching this and it's pretty much gone quick, cooks quick. Yes, another perfect crepe. So I can make them. The whole problem was the, trying to make the Dutch ones. I guess I need to be Dutch to do that. So I'm gonna finish these up and I'll be back. Okay, so I have finished my crepes. So I'm gonna show you what the Dutch ones look like. Okay, pile of dis disaster. Although they taste pretty good. Oh, not bad. Now, I did manage to rescue two out of them, though. To show you here. There's two that sort of came out not too bad. So I think I'm going to use those in what I'm going to do next. But here are my perfect crepes. So you see, I can make perfect crepes. Unfortunately, I only got five out of that. So I've got seven crepes to work with here. So this pile is garbage, and that's where it's gonna go. And I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do next. Okay, so now I'm gonna put in my filling in my crepes. And this is just sort of my own version of a filling. Um, and what I have is, I have a ham steak that I've sliced up into thin little slivers, sort of thin little slivers, you know, like that. And then I've got a sort of a cheese blend, some cheddar, uh, some pre-shredded cheese. I've got cheddar, mozzarella, and I added a little Parmesan to this. So I've got one of my good crepes sitting here. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in a couple of strips of the ham, a little bit of the cheese, and then I'm going to roll it. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the end open and I'm just gently rolling it up. And then I have one of these little dishes. I'm just going to put that in. Now I have sprayed the little dishes so things won't stick when these get put in the oven. And that's one done. Let's grab another one. I like to flip them over to the back side again. Some ham. Hope I have enough ham here. A little cheese. Maybe a lot of cheese. And then let's just move it down to the end here. And roll it. And so I'm going to get two of these in each little dish. And so I'm gonna finish this up and then I'll come back with the next thing I'm gonna do and that involves my sauce. Okay, so I got my crepes done. They're not the French or the Dutch 
pancakes that I wanted to make. Uh, I don't know what went wrong, but I'll tell Walter when he comes home and I'm sure he will fill me in on what went wrong. Uh, the next stage of what I would do with those, and I, I've run out of milk so I can't show you that, but it's very easy. I make a roux with some flour and butter and then I add some milk to that get a, a white sauce out of that. I add a little bit of grated cheese to it, a little bit of Parmesan, a little bit of white pepper and some Dijon mustard, just a squirt. Mix that all together until it's nice and smooth. And then when it comes time to serve the crepes, I heat them up in the oven. You would heat them up in the microwave too. It doesn't make much difference. Um, they might go a little bit more rubbery, I find, if you heat them in the microwave, but you can, you can do it. Um, and then uh, just when I serve them, I have the, uh, the sauce, I've heated it up. And again, the sauce you can make ahead of time and you can uh, put it in your microwave and gently heat it up at about 50% of your wattage. And uh, you just pour it over top of the crepes and away you go. And they're quite tasty. And when I make French style crepes, they work, as you can see. So I'm not a complete idiot when it comes to cooking. I just don't know why the other uh, pancakes did not work. I'll have to ask Walter about that. I don't know what I did wrong. Well, I do sort of know what I did wrong. I think I was trying to make them too thick, and that was the problem. So they were burning before they got cooked all the way through. Um, I think they might have been better if I'd done them in the crepe pan like I did with the, the French crepes. And I know if you're French background, please I, don't criticize me. Maybe just getting a crepe maker would be the best way to go. You know, one of those electric things you dip in. Um, but who knows? Anyways, that's what I do with them. That's how I serve them. And they actually turn out quite good, quite delicious when you do them right. Um, and as I said... I'm out of milk now, so I can't show you making the sauce, but the sauce is just a basic sauce um, with cheese. That's it. So um, this was something I was going to put on my weekly vlog, but it's a little longer than I intended. Uh, it's a little more humorous than I intended it to be as well, but I'm going to post it as a bonus video uh, so you can check it out there and I'll refer to it and put a link into it into my next vlog so you can have a laugh. And yeah. I guess if you don't practice cooking, like I haven't for a while, you just lose your talent, as if I had any talent to start with. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you got a bit of a laugh out of it. And yeah, maybe I'll do some other future cooking demonstrations as well, if I get up enough nerve. Have a good one. Bye-bye.